A scheduled C-section is being performed in an operating room at the Olds Hospital and Care Center. Dr. Yako Hoffman is on the left. Joining him on the OR team today is Dr. Amber Whitford, an obstetrician gynecologist from Red Deer. All is going well, and it's not long before baby Harper is brought into the world. In her 34 years as a registered nurse in Olds, Heather Veneman says she's never worked with a physician she's respected more than Dr. Hoffman. He always goes above and beyond what he needs to, whether it be with us as staff or with his patients. His care is exceptional. He's calm but authoritative. That red scrub hat he's wearing is quite famous. There's a picture of him that's circled around on Facebook that has like over a million views of him holding a baby up and he still has the same scrub hat now, you know, and that was probably 15 years ago. The red cap was, um, actually comes from my student here still, so that, it's kind of a, a little thing for me whenever I do a C-section, I wear the red cap. Dr. Hoffman was part of the 2002 graduating class in medicine from the University of the Free State of Bloemfontein, South Africa. After an internship and a year of community service, he went into private practice at a platinum mining company hospital. In 2006, he immigrated to Canada and worked in Provost, Alberta, alongside Dr. Dion Erasmus and Dr. Stefan Milan. Provost was fantastic. The people there were just wonderful. After four years, he moved to Olds because it gave him more opportunity to use his skills as an anesthetist and gave his four kids more exposure to sport and music activities. With the help of Dr. Leonie Kelly and others, he set up his clinic in Didsbury, 20 minutes south of Olds. He named it after the jacaranda tree, found in South Africa, that blooms in a beautiful purple. Four other physicians also practice here, including Dr. Hoffman's wife. He's also been instrumental in developing the Peaks to Prairies primary care network in Olds. Today, six moms or moms-to-be are here for a regular checkup. In his career, Dr. Hoffman has brought his calming reassurance to well over a thousand moms. Oh, I literally waited for him to be off of his holidays until I got a C-section. <laughs> when he came in, I just remember crying out of relief. Um, <laughs> but he put his hand on my, on my hand and he's like, let's get this baby out. And I said, okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. The next morning, he's up early for surgery at the Olds Hospital. Today, he's wearing his black scrub cap and acting as an anesthetist for a day of surgeries. He works alongside traveling surgeons like Dr. Wolstenholm from Red Deer. And one of the ways I describe people is, do they make your day better when you work with them or not? And Dr. Hoffman every day makes my day better when I work with him. When Dr. Hoffman first came to Olds in 2010, the two operating rooms in Olds were being used only a day and a half a week. Thanks to his efforts, both are now fully used five days a week. My passion is access to surgical services in a, in a timely fashion. And I know that our rural facilities can produce that access in a safe and a very high quality level with, with the practitioners we have and the, the traveling specialist. Dr. Hoffman strongly believes it's important to be a preceptor for the next generation of rural physicians. For this knee surgery, he's guiding first-year resident Samantha Brown through a spinal anesthesia. You know, in addition to being an anesthesiologist, he also works in the emergency department. He has a family practice. He delivers babies still. Like, this guy really is the epitome of the old-school country doctor who just does everything for everyone. Add to that list that he's currently the AHS Acting Central Zone Medical Director. I think I'm just one of those people that need, need to be busy. I think if I sit still for too long, I get, um, I get ants in my pants. It's dinner time at the Hoffman residence. Oh, I should let you know, Scooter is in the penalty box for wolfing down two full banana loaves when nobody was looking. Enzo the cat is still in the good books. Meet Yako's spouse, Dr. E. Beth Hoffman. They first met in medical school. She's on the phone to their son, who just moved to Ontario. They have three other kids at home. E. Beth is Yako's solid rock and makes it all possible. If it wasn't for E. Beth, I wouldn't be able to do this, for sure. You're only as, as strong as the people around you, right? So I have a fantastic um, family support. With their hectic schedules, how do they ever find time together? Sometimes we create opportunities through work to spend the day together. <laughs> you know, we have that flexibility to, hey, I'm in the award today, can you come and assist? In summers, they unwind with the kids on Glenifer Lake, 
It's just a half hour north of Olds. Yako is fully committed to his community, even when he's off duty as a hockey dad at the rink. A coach actually fell on the ice, but the way he fell, he cut a big artery in the leg. Yako saved his life that day. Here, he's volunteering at the party program. Olds firefighters set up a mock accident. The goal is to show grade 10 high school students the dangers of drinking and driving. We try life-saving procedures. Yako plays the part of an emergency department physician, trying to save the life of someone injured in the crash. He uses the opportunity to convince these students to consider a career in rural healthcare. Uh, every moment I can, I, I try to get people to see that they can make a difference in other people's life and their careers in, in medicine. Okay, congratulations, and then we'll see you back again in one week, okay? okay. Congratulations, Yako, on being selected as the 2024 RPAP Rhapsody Physician Award recipient. I can think of no better deserving person. Well deserved. You're the best, buddy. Congratulations for uh, being the man you are and the father and husband that you are. Congratulations, Yako. Well deserved. Yako, you've been a hell of a man in my life and my wife's life. Thank you so much for all you do for our team here at the Olds Hospital. Yaku, we just want to say congratulations on winning this amazing award. I cannot think of anybody more deserving of this and we are really proud of you.